Before we get started, I'm going to just say this. This might be somewhat of a triggering commentary, especially if you are a person who is part of the LGBTQIA plus community and you're struggling with your family, accepting who you are and being there for you, especially in the time of grief. For those of you who've been following me and been watching my stories and stuff, y'all know that I'm trying to make my presence known on Big O, me and my brother uh, Aaron Wiles out. Shout out to Aaron. My Big O account is banned, so I can't get on Beagle until later on this month when I get my other phone. But there's some people on Beagle who are very big and prominent on there who are part of the black gay community. Um, and there's one individual by the name of JB's. I'm pretty sure y'all know who JB's is, especially if you pay attention to what's going on in the internet in reference to the black gay ratchet side of social media. JB's is a successful trans woman. She is Miss Beagle. Uh, she has stock in Beagle. She makes about 60k a month on there and um she has unfortunately been in the bigo news as of late you know in reference to her father who unfortunately um was murdered so firstly i want to say to jb's my condolences to you um and to your family even condolences to your mom your mom is hurt and broken and bitter and she's taking that bitterness out on you especially when you're going through your midst and your process of grieving your father who you said was the only one who was there for you we over here on bubs the guy give our condolences to you you would think normally you know if if, if a father passes away that you know that would make the family closer because they lost somebody and unfortunately, uh, Angela keeps proving to JBs as well as to all of us who are part of the LGBT community and especially those who are part of the community who do not have a relationship, a great relationship, a loving, fulfilling, successful, fruitful, and life-giving relationship with their parent. Like, you, we see your true colors. So, with JB's father passing away, JB's made a video where she stated that her father was the only person... Who, real, who she felt like really genuinely, authentically loved her. Yes, maybe he did not agree with her transition or the way that she had decided to express herself and live her life. But see, Miss Statton, what he was able to do, the father, God rest his soul, he was able to at least work with JB's instead of being black or white like you ma'am he decided to be inclusive and do the one thing that Christ called all of us to do which is to love and he loved his child whether he was still trying to deal with the whole situation of his child being trans he still did the one thing that Miss Staten your motherfucking ass is afraid to goddamn do and that you're failing to do ma'am which is to be a fucking parent now I can't really all the way be mad at you Miss Staten because I gotta believe that there has been some shit that happened to you in your life that you have not healed from and you got into a place and a position of power where you was able to make you a living and be financial financially free but see that financial freedom didn't bring you shit if anything it brought more problems to you yeah it temporarily solved problems in reference to bills and to live the more luxurious life as far as the items and shit that you can fucking buy but as you are experiencing right now ma'am you are a millionaire who is trying to do all this other type of shit in Atlanta and yet you don't have a relationship with your child because you're not doing your part as a parent now let's get into parents real quick let's talk about black parents and LGBTQIA people of color. Let's talk about it. Do you know how many motherfucking people in the community, ma'am, who have contemplated suicide and some that were successful because their parents, who are supposed to be their first expression of what love is manifested in this earth, didn't do their fucking job. First of all, the children didn't ask to fucking be here. JB's didn't ask to be here. Whether you wanted JB's ass here or not, you decided to open up your pussy lips and take the dick from the nigga that you said that wasn't a fucking father. You made that goddamn choice, ma'am. So you gotta deal with that shit. Since we talking shit, ma'am. And now your child is hurting. That's a shame. You are a mother and you still breathing. You have an opportunity to make amends with your goddamn child. You feel some type of way because JB says the only person that she felt that made her 
feel loved and cared for in the midst of whatever JB's is trying to do in reference to her own life and trying to figure it out. Because here it is, JB's is, I don't know, she's 19, 20, 21, I don't know, she's young, and she got money, she has power, she has beauty, she has success, she has influence, all these things, but it's all in the gay community, and a lot of us in the gay community are broken, hurt, bitter, and to the point to where now JB's ass low-key is turning into you, ma'am. Miss Statton, do you feel some type of way that when you look at J- JB's, you see yourself reflected out to you? Are you upset because when you look at JB's, you see all the things that you hiding deep down in your closet that you haven't dealt with, ma'am? But see, ma'am, you're so busy worried about your business and your brand, because I believe that you're trying to enter into some sort of political leadership in Atlanta. Angela did a live with JB's on Bego where, you know, a lot of people was reading JB's about Angela and what the fuck she was saying. And JB's was trying to help her mom like, hey, mom, look, instead of hoes just talking, instead of hoes just opening up their mouth and saying shit, how about, okay, how about the fact that I sit here and I have a conversation with you so that these people can see for themselves? How about we do that? And she did just that. But when she tried to talk to her mother in reference to the past, to try to dilute and destroy all of the opinions and views of what the fuck other people are saying, here it is, Angela just sits here and continues to reaffirm everything that JB's is trying to dispel about her mother. Because how you gonna run for some shit in Atlanta and Atlanta is the black gay mecca? You gonna be working around gay people. You gonna be connected to gay people, ma'am. What the fuck? But see, you're worried about your brand. You're worried about your look. You're worried about that. And how can you be a political person when your daughter is out here doing stuff? Because I'm not going to lie, JB's does some problematic shit too. We got to keep it a bean. No tea, no shade, but all facts. She's problematic in certain areas as well. But do you think maybe she wouldn't be so problematic if you wasn't so problematic, ma'am? Because see, the one thing about black parents, they love doing this shit. Oh, I am the parent. I pay the bills. I take care of everything. You live under my my roof, my roof, my rules, all this shit. But what parents need to understand, especially black parents, is that you have given birth to another part of God coming into this world to experience itself however it wants to experience itself. Yes, clothing, food, shelter, all that stuff is basic necessities that you need to provide for your child because you was hot in the pants. Your pussy was goddamn wet as a motherfucker, whopping and shit. JB said that every motherfucking day she has to hear reads about motherfuckers talking about her mother, dogging the fuck out of the LGBTQIA community. And then when you sit in front of them to try to be all political and shit, politically correct, you still fail because it's fake and we can see the bullshit. And some hoes is just giving you a benefit of the doubt, ma'am, because... You are JB's mother, and they fuck with JB's. And you sat here in the text message because JB's ended up putting a video up where she was showing the Instagram or text messages, one of the two, exchanged between her and her mother, Miss Stat- Angela Statton. And the shit that Miss Statton was saying to her, Miss Statton was making it about her, making it about her. Your father left me. How can you sit here and say that a nigga who only was who only spent one year in your life was a lot better for than me because I was the one that made sure, even when I was in prison, I made sure you had this, I made sure you had all that. But that shit don't mean a motherfucking thing, bitch, until your ass give me what it is that I need as a child, which is I need not just physical and tangible things given to me. I need mental, emotional, and spiritual support as well. And for a lot of us as gay people, we never fucking got that. But see, that's where you failed, ma'am. And the gag of it is, is that here it is, you're sitting here saying that this man who uh, who spent 10 years in prison, 10 years in prison, and then was out for a whole year. It's so funny that that nigga who was willing to love his daughter, even though he may not understand, but willing to still choose to love his daughter and look past that. It's so funny that, or ironic, or the gag is, is that Now JB's is getting all his shit and even the motherfuckers in reference to the father's family is mad at JB's because JB's get everything. I wonder how that is. And she was able to do that shit in one year. You want to know why I believe he did that? See, 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 you hoes be worried about the, 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 the quantity of shit as opposed to the quality. It's so funny that you've done all these things for your son and you're calling your son ungrateful and all this stuff because you thought that material things would shut him the fuck up. You gave him quantity 
quantity. You gave him things and access that can be bought with a price tag, not knowing that as soon as you buy it, bitch, the value of the shit goes down, especially as soon as you put your nigga hands on it, because you know how America feels about us niggas. But I gotta believe that even though God rest his soul, JB's father was in prison for 10 years, he probably took that time to do some self-reflection, took some time to look at himself. Maybe he decided that, hell, when I get the fuck out, I'm gonna do things differently. And maybe one of those things that he promised himself that he was gonna do differently is that now that I have a second chance at life, I'm gonna go forth and live my best life, which means including my child. Now, when I sit up here and I get connected to my child and I find out that my child is trans, I may not understand it. There may be some inner transphobia or homophobia within myself, but guess what? Because I am willing to do things differently. I am willing to face those things. I am willing to face those things so that I can go forward and love my child, the child that I helped create. And he was able to do in one year what your ass has been struggling to do this whole fucking time, Miss Staten. And you pissed off and you mad. But once again, you have the opportunity right here in the fuck now to kill your ego. Because it ain't just JB's. Now, do I believe JB's ass has resentment, is rebellious? Of course. Because a lot of motherfuckers who are rebellious are individuals who are trying to act out to get your fucking attention to love them. But you the mama, though. I'm the mama. The Bible says to honor your mother and father in all thy ways, I guess, and then you, your life will be extended. But see, I can see that happening when it comes from parents who actually operate in love and operate wisdom. Because see, if you really was about that life about love, Miss Staten, you would have, instead of doing research about goddamn abortions and all this shit, it's a damn shame. You don't want women and black women to get abortions, but then when they're children in the world, you don't want to take care of them and learn them. So, I mean, what the fuck? But here's the gag, though. You spend so much time trying to find all this information in reference to abortions and all this stuff with Planned Parenthood. Well, let me give you some other statistics, ma'am. Your whole daughter is a trans woman. Do you know the statistic of trans women and their and their longevity and their livelihood today? Do you know that there are trans women of color that are dropping like fucking flies every motherfucking day, ma'am? Have you took the time out to do some research on some gay shit to educate yourself? Did you do that? Of course not. Because you're the mama. You the mama, that's the fucking problem. What kind of mother are you? And I'm telling you right now, first of all, I ain't, I ain't your child, so I ain't worried about it. Second of all, my mom did what the fuck she was supposed to do and still doing it, which is why I know what love looked like, which is why I'm calling your ass out because you have an opportunity to love your child because once again, your child is a trans woman of color. JB, Something can happen to JB's tomorrow and you're going to be the main one crying on the floor. Oh my God, all this shit fucked up and then your guilt going to be whooping your ass and beating your ass and dragging your ass for the rest of your life because now all you have is shoulda, coulda, wouldas and you could have answered those shoulda, coulda, wouldas if you would have chose to love your goddamn child. Fuck what these other hoes are saying. This is your child. First of all, your child is a trans woman who is successful and she's successful at a very young age and she bringing in money but see, you that's why you feel some type of way, Miss Staten, because you can't control your child anymore because you used to say, my house, my rules he who holds the money holds the power once you start paying bills as a motherfucker then the bitch started actually getting her own motherfucking coin getting 60k a month to where she said bitch fuck my, paying my bills bitch i'll pay for the mortgage on this house girl and you told her to get the fuck out miss Staten. what i suggest you do since you have this is just just a suggestion what i suggest you do ma'am i suggest that you take that money or some of the money that you have talk to jb's Ask her to put some money up as well, and I'm going to need for y'all to hit up Miss Ian Levan's app. I'm going to need y'all to get some shit together that's going to call accountability on both parts. Because both of y'all got some shit y'all need to deal with. And both of y'all are trying to be in positions of, well, one's in position of power, and the other one's trying to establish a position of power. And if you're going to have power and have influence, it is up to us, the people, to make sure that the motherfuckers that hold the power are righteous individuals who don't use their power recklessly. And in a demonstrative and a destructive way. So, Miss Staten, get your shit together, ma'am. You still have time. Stop getting on Instagram trying to plead your case. It makes you look even more ignorant and more dumb. I'm going to need for you to shut what they call the fuck up so you can listen. Don't listen to respond, ma'am. I'm going to need you to listen to understand. If you want someone to understand you, you have to be willing to understand them. Point blank in the fuck, period. And then you end the conversation saying to your child, guess what? Not only are you a fatherless child, but now you a motherless child. But the gag is JB's ass been feeling like a motherless child for the longest time. 
So it really ain't no gag to her. It's a gag to you because JB's has told us and shown us and she feels within herself that she never really had a mother because the mother don't support her. But see, that's why God going to really let your ass have it, Miss Staten. It's because now what God's going to do is allow your, what you call your son, who is now transitioning into a woman, to go up here and show you how a woman really does it. And it's going to make you feel some type of way because you're biologically cis a woman and this motherfucker trans and is doing it better than you ma'am so with that being said miss angela staten i'm gonna need you to kill your pride i'm gonna need you to start walking in love and walking in god which means learning how to be inclusive learning how not to be black or white but to be gray because christ love god source universe whatever the fuck you want to call it that shit is in Inclusive. And if you don't want to be inclusive, don't be mad when God don't include your ass. I'm out.